think, let me first say that we are in absolute awe of what God is doing in South Africa. It's not something that we imagined or dreamed of, but here we are. Uh, and you know, it all started with leaning in and listening to a podcast on our way home from a holiday. And that just started a faith journey. It started what we now know as Kingdom City South Africa. We never heard of Pastor Mark before. I've never seen him preach before. And there was this message coming through. And that just resonated in my spirit and in Mandy's spirit that God loves us. And this was an appointed time, appointed moment, a time of reflection, a time of vision for what God is going to birth. Uh, and we didn't have any clue of that. All I know was the excitement was stirred up and that was enough to settle it. I remember it was January that we started doing the research and we were, we're part of a great church. There was nothing, you know, we were, we were doing what we needed to do. But we knew post that podcast that there was more. There was so much more that we needed to do. So we started to reach out to Kingdom City to find out more. We came across Green Room, um, listening to Pastor Mark's teachings, Pastor Jemima's teachings. I was all about the presence of God. And as we started to lean in, something changed within us. We felt the Holy Spirit. We started to feel God speak. There was such clarity around what God was saying. And the messages was changing and shaping us as we went. I think the conversation started with Pastor Blake, uh, Pastor Mike, and we've been encouraged uh, to start Connects. And I think our heart was always to connect people, to connect groups. And that was where our passion was. In June 2020, we started our own Connect group. Um, there was a hunger and thirst of people that we were connected with, that we had a relationship with, that joined the Connect Group, that wanted more. The more people started to experience what we were experiencing and encountering what we were encountering, people started to understand that this is a move of God because even though we were online, the presence of God was real and in person. Uh, the revival started um, in our home with Church at Home leaning into the online messages. So when we first started, John and I were the Connect leaders. We had about 40 people that were leaning in and joining our Connects daily. We were doing daily devotionals. And then we started to see the potential, the God potential in, uh, in other leaders that, was, that were joining. So these were people that didn't really consider uh, Connect leadership because they thought it was just something so far-fetched and you had to live this perfect life. But here's the great thing in Kingdom City. There's no such thing as being perfect. Pastor Mark says God will use you as He changes you. And, and that's been the story. And so as we started to appoint leaders, the connect groups started to grow. But when I speak about growth, this was growth that we couldn't even like have fathomed at that point in time. We started off with one connect group yeah. and then it went to five and then it went to 10. Yeah, and now we're down to 17. So that, that was phenomenal growth. And most of the, uh, the connection, they became carriers. Mm. Um, so that was uh, multiplication uh, in all sense of the word, because it didn't just stop there. Those that were leaning in and felt connected in connect groups started having church at home. We started to see people being set free, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We started to see people lean in. We started to see people awaken desires for, be, for wanting to know more about God. We, want, we started to see people come alive in their own spiritual journeys. And we started to see people saying yes to Kingdom City. People started to come on board. Yeah, I grew up in a Christian home. My dad was a minister in the Methodist church. There was a call on our lives. But for some reason, in that journey, um, I moved away from that calling. And as this door opened, it confirmed that calling. And saying yes again to God was making room mm -hmm. for God to move in a mighty way on our lives. Mm -hmm. We moved up to Johannesburg in 99, uh, started our careers up here in Johannesburg. Um, we had our two amazing children. Um, we're currently working for a large bank in South Africa. Uh, yeah, in the corporate sector and enjoying it as well. I think for me, um, you know, that it was such an amazing um, journey because we, we already have full day jobs. But all of a sudden we started to see capacity within our full day jobs. 
to do more for the kingdom. And we started to see this amazing change in our children. Joining Kingdom City ignited my passion to have more of God because it was an online campus, you know, so I, I didn't have a church building to check into. But daily, God and I were starting to have conversations. And that is what transformed things. If anyone can get anything out of our story, the, the yes is not to a person. Yes, Pastor Mark had an amazing message. And yes, that message set all of this in motion. But the yes was ultimately to our Lord Jesus Christ. And He took us on an adventure that we never in our wildest dreams would have thought was possible, nor had we dream, dreamt it. But here we are living it. And, it. and it all just started with like, yes, Lord, you can use us. Yeah, there is no formula. All you have to do is say yes to God. It's not about your education. It's not about the knowledge you know. It's about the saying, Lord, yeah, my, use me. I do not regret the day of us saying yes to stepping out of the boat on this journey with God. Because this has brought so many miracles in people's lives and families' lives and hunger, a thirst, a discipleship. Uh, people never, there were leaders that never ran a connect before, for the first time ran connect groups. That's a miracle in itself. Yeah. Um, so th the blessings of our years is the culmination of these families that have come on board on this journey. Our lives have been changed. Our families' lives have been changed. And people have been imparted with the hunger for God and saying yes has become the anthem of our lives. Amen. Amen.